Professor Makoto Nakayama is set on creating a real beating heart using a 3D printer. He is a pioneer of the concept. Nakamura used to work as a clinical pediatrician who specialized in cardiology. He has cared for many young patients who died because they couldn't get a transplant. Fifteen years ago, he decided to devote himself to creating a bio-artificial heart for use in transplant operations. His idea was to use a child's own cells to produce an organ that their body won't reject, and that can grow along with them. There are so many patients who will die if they don't get heart transplants. My greatest hope is to find a way to create hearts for them. To achieve this, Nakamura developed a specially designed 3D printer in 2005. The doctor's aim is to use the printer to build an actual heart. It would be made of the living cells taken from the patient's tissues and then cultivated. Many issues need to be resolved, such as how to keep the cells alive, and whether simply getting the cells to adhere to each other is enough to make them function as tissue. But first, Nakamura wants to see if he can build the organ accurately. This is how he created tissue using a 3D printer, working with animal cells. He took a million of the cultured cells and mixed them with a viscous liquid. The high-speed 3D printer formed a tissue of living cells. In 30 minutes, a block of living cells about one millimeter thick was formed. Nakamura has also succeeded in making high-speed 3D printouts using human cells. If we want to reproduce biological tissue, we absolutely have to keep thousands of cells moving every second. We can do this by making full use of the 3D printer. Now, global research is underway to see if functioning organs can be produced. Nakamura hopes it won't be long before bio-artificial hearts become a reality.